In this video, we're going to discuss and demonstrate a visceral and lymphatic technique for the mesenteries. There are three components to this technique focused on the small intestine, ascending colon, and descending colon and sigmoid. So starting with the small intestine, we're going to want to position ourselves uh, near the right upper quadrant of the abdomen, and we're going to make contact somewhere on the left side of the abdomen where the mesentery attaches to the small intestine. And you'll feel a little bit of tension in that area. And from here, you're going to make contact with your fingers along that line and press posteriorly. And then you're going to drag superiorly and medial up towards the liver in the right upper quadrant. You're going to use myofascial release principles, holding this position for 30 seconds or more. And you're going to appreciate for any myofascial creep, any change in tension, and any change in lymphatic congestion that you might feel as the tissue releases. You can hold it for up to two minutes, but it may not take that long. Moving on to the ascending colon, you're going to switch positions and move to the opposite side of the table. Now, thinking of where the ascending colon is, you're going to try to palpate down to that ascending colon. You can use uh, your other hand to lift it posteriorly so you can feel it under your fingers. Once you find that ascending colon, you're going to try to look for the medial border where the mesentery attaches. Then you're going to take your fingers along that medial border and gently press posteriorly and pull medial so that you can appreciate the tension on those mesenteries. Now again, using myofascial release principles, you're holding for about 30 seconds or more. You're waiting for any kind of change in tension. And you're going to appreciate any myofascial creep that occurs. And with any change in tension, you're going to follow that tension as it releases medial. And again, you can hold it for up to two minutes, but it will likely change sooner than that. Once that change has finished, then you're going to treat the descending colon and sigmoid. So again, you're going to switch your position to the opposite side of the table and find the descending colon. So using your hand again, lifting that colon until you can feel it. You find the medial border of that descending colon and then press posteriorly and medial, putting tension medially on the mesenteries. Again, using myofascial release principles, waiting for any signs of release, myofascial creep, change in tension, and you can wait and hold up to two minutes or until you feel whatever release is going to occur and you feel it change. Now that that release has finished, we're going to move on to the sigmoid colon. So for the sigmoid colon, we're going to find the ASIS. And we're going to drop just medial to the ASIS and we're going to press posteriorly and hook our fingers just medial to that sigmoid colon. And we're going to lift medial and superior again up towards the right upper quadrant. And we're going to hold, feel for any kind of myofascial release, any kind of myofascial creep, change in temperature, change in texture. And we can hold that for up to two minutes or whenever the release has completed. And now that, that tension has completed, we can return our patient back to a neutral position and reassess for somatic dysfunction.